recap. Things went down at the old cabin as you guys fought a nasty mold troll that popped out yeah, of the did. old gene tube. Uh, Johan decided to team up with you guys and subdue that thing after it seemed to be a bit of a problem as it targeted him. He seemed surprised. You guys all definitely surprised. But uh, yeah, after you guys beat it, you guys subdued it and had a chat with Johan about like what the fuck's going on. Did you do that on purpose or something? He's like, no. And then you guys were like, you know, had your had your things. He did some soul searching and you guys all finally decided that no one should separate from this scenario. Y'all are kind of in this shit together. You guys all got a little hand in this proverbial pot. So you've decided to follow Johan back to the source of this icky beast uh, to get some questions answered, maybe, or even uh, do a little old elderly punching, mm. you know, uh, a little if, punch if, it, elder. if it does come to <laughs> if it does come to blows. <laughs> you hush, we're not in it yet. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but we're ready. But yeah, we're ready. So welcome to what is now the episode before the finale Ooh, i haven't said this on the actual recording part yet say hi everybody Uh, hi everybody wait was that to us or the audience yeah no i was saying hi to you no i was telling you guys to say hi to the audience the audience is clapping hi my name is jeremy i'm playing kornoth um he's a wizard um i'm yep wizard goliath then we've got uh, Eldrick being played by our boy Matt. That's me. I'm playing a barbarian ready to okay, smack don't, some heads off. I was off. doing all that information as a joke. I don't like that everyone just... <laughs> well, then don't do it so serious, man. You <laughs> and know I'm already... Tyler. And there you go. Jeremy, you know we're all slightly the, autistic the and we can't tell. We're playing <laughs> fast and loose, but they're going to find out soon that that fast and loose might be coming at them quick. All right. So you guys... Let's go for it. You guys have made your way out towards the path that uh was kind of carved out by uh by johan and his team beforehand to make their way up here to head back to the deeper lower levels of the wilds as you guys are heading that way uh i'm gonna need everybody to roll me Ooh. stealth checks because we're going First into some, we're going into the wilderness oh the wilderness can i also ask johan a question yeah, Johan got an 18 by the way oh, so shit. johan, oh, johan literally two. homered into a bush <laughs> Well, I got a two. Um, oh, God. The I'm ranger? just walking through this tunnel, loudly ask, uh, asking. Well, I mean, I rolled a two. It's like, <laughs> well, no, if, you're gonna be, if you're going to be, if you're going to be walking through this tunnel, just loudly talking like, mm-hmm. so, Johan, uh, uh, I'm, I'm curious. So uh, what? Why were you at this this house alone? I, I meant to ask you that. Like, why did everyone else leave you behind here? That is also something that I was sort of worried about and kind of why I was so antsy with the chair when you all entered. I, uh, again, cannot stress enough, uh, cousin, very sorry about chair to face. Not my best way of greeting, but probably not the first time you, a Goliath from our tribe, has been greeted. That no, way. me and you both. He's, he's fine. Been... Well, okay, all right. I'll just let the small one speak for me. Uh, 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 all is to say, uh, we were supposed to be meeting here after the goods were dropped off as a group, but they had not returned. I, uh, Their beetle returned, empty, no them, none of their goods, and I'm not sure why. Uh, I was actually probably preparing to head out to look for them or signs of them because I assume they got eaten by something out here or... I don't know. Hmm. Experimented on by the wild, you know, science man that I left them with. Because you see, I mean, now that's more definitely feeling like what could have possibly happened. But, you know, we, <laughs> we, we don't want to worry too much. I, I'm i hoping maybe we see signs of at least struggle. Maybe they fought off whatever it was. or Yeah, before I ran into you, that was my objective before returning so, back to Secret uh, 2. Cousin- I actually have a very quick question because I didn't think of it earlier. Did you hear us coming or were you just sitting there waiting for a number of hours with a chair at the door? Oh, no, I heard you guys coming up. Okay, okay, that makes way more sense. Yes. It's just making sure. I was sure. out on the porch smoking one of my cigarettes before you guys showed and I heard you back in woods and 
yeah, I ducked back in, grabbed chair. I thought about propping against door, but I thought this would be more fun. And then it, it was, was more fun. It was again, for sure so more sorry. fun. And it was it was arguably more fun. No, that's that's fair. Fair. Um, while this conversation is happening, can someone roll me a d20, please? Okay, I got you. Give it to us, Matt. Ooh, a fifteen. What's a that 15? mean? Okay. No, that's you're totally fine. fine. I just need don't the even number. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, also, I rolled a ten but, for uh, stealth. I will say, as you guys are in entering the uh, uh, entering a sort of like drop off kind of like area that looks down into literally like a lowering level. There's like a staked sort of like set of pittens going down the side of a sheer cliff face that has like moss and vines kind of draped over it as the floor of the uh, underwood sort of proper kind of area because like the underwoods is huge like you basically were kind of on the outskirts of the underwood mm -hmm. like as you were kind of ending this way and now there's like a rope and a couple pittens that you can see as you like over the edge down to kind of climb your way down to the lower level but before you do that johan is like i uh do not think booglen and the dragonborn will have problem with this but you brother uh hold on and he's sort of like holds his hands together some of that purple magic kind of glows in his hands and he places his palm sort of over your nose and mouth and then he does the same with his free hand over his own and these sort of like arcane like almost like a like a visor over your nose and mouth like like think mortal combat mm -hmm. kind of like a ventilator kind of thing made out of like arcane magic goes over you guys face as he's like it starts to get a little not so fun to breathe down there not just spooky mushrooms that'll turn you into a zombie if you die too quickly but uh it, it, it's some other crazier things and uh, you guys because of being native to the underdark have a built-in sort of filtering for this so uh, the most i can say is try not to overexert yourself until we are at our destination because exhaustion is very very possible even with these it's almost like you have to swim through air now very thick very dense you you you'll you'll see what I mean. And uh, <laughs> he says that as he sort of like gives you a thumbs up and like kind of like rock climber style grabs onto the rope that is tied down, checks it really quick, and repels and like kind of jumps off and just begins to repel without even using the climbing pit. And so if you guys could all give Be me before a they thing. jump down, uh, Kornath turns to them and says, "This isn't affecting my voice, is it? I sound the same, <laughs> yes." No, yes. No. No, you're good. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm an I agent of chaos. You just sound like pain now. <laughs> Holy that's shit! That's 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 I, I, I wait for, uh, I wait for uh, Kornoth to jump down, and I turn Cut to uh, Eldrick, and I just say, "This, this fucking guy." <laughs> you can give me an athletics. All right, let's go. You can give me an athletics mm -hmm. or an acrobatics check. Your choice. Athletics or acrobatics. As you guys are descending into the level that you know now as the mythic level of the Underdark. You said uh, athletics or acrobatics, correct? Yes. 15. Well, I guess technically you were in the mythic level. This is the uh, this is the uh, the wyvern level. That's the the level under mythic. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, Eldrick got a sixteen. Oh great! Yeah, you start to repel down, no problem. I bet uh, you, I, feel, I got I feel, a 15. I also got yeah, a 15. Yeah, I feel like the two yeah. of you, you also got a 15, you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at yeah, us. I feel like this just kind of, I feel walls. like it all truly, not even to be that guy, but it all feels like it, it just comes I'm natural. Adept. I just don't know what that means. Wait, what? You climb down so good, Tyler. <laughs> well, I, I'm trying to find my favorite terrain would say that I'm like, I mean, if this counts, that I'm adept in traveling through this kind of terrain. I'm just trying to figure that out. I tell you what, you just like strap the rope around you in such a way that it like wheelies down your body and you just scuttle your way down. You actually went down the side limbs. on a bike. No one sure where you got the bike, <laughs> no, you, but you no, had a BMX you just bike. See, you see Bugnacious kind of like sheath his swords, maybe if he was still carrying those about, and then he just scuttles down with the rope kind of just almost <laughs> like wheeling off his body as he goes down, just there to, just in case he slips up or whatever. It just feels very, like everything just seems to come natural to you guys. Like you guys, uh, I'd say Eldrick from you being from underground, obviously you know about climbing rock and you're a Goliath yeah, from Kornoth the mountains, you know strong. about climbing rock. I'm not gonna, yeah, you guys make it to the bottom and immediately once you guys get to that base and you see a couple things, you see Johan standing there waiting, but also as you're looking on, 
it's like he was not joking. Mm -hmm. Like the air literally seems to be buzzing almost with like, almost like static to it. Like you can see visible, like sort of lines, almost like a continual rain of like this pressure of the air as you look around. It's like, it's very intense. You feel it on your body. You feel it like almost down to your bones about how heavy it is just to be standing here, let alone moving through this. And uh, Interesting. before you, the there's like a light fog. Here. It, it basically, yeah, <laughs> I think spiritual pressure, but like without somebody exerting it, it's just the area itself gives it off. <laughs> We're getting a little ambient on my side of the. Yeah, yeah, it's getting spooky. There's a there's a light fog dusting the ground as you see the terrain is, pe like sort of like pebbled with like what is like a floor of tiny tiny mushrooms. Like as far as the eyes can see, den densely packed tiny red and orange mushrooms coat the entirety of the ground and where you step if you, as you move your feet they immediately reform in those spots almost leaving no way of keeping yeah. your wits about you in terms of a trail without literally throwing something mm -hmm. down um there's not really there, there's very sparse trees and the few trees that you see there you can swear almost look as though old ancient like beings died in a grimace these like sort of like sweeping long limb trees with like wispy sort of leaves dance, v like stretching as high as the ceiling will go in this area. Uh, but they're very few and far between tufts of grass here and there. And uh, a few boulders and rocks seem to be the only big sort of things blocking the area. But there's this fog that makes it almost along with the air impossible to really make out a whole lot unless you have like dark vision anybody got dark vision uh, uh i have dark vision great then it I looks like you see this you see the scene before you but everything sort of seems just like still in the air there's like slight like wisps of like spores and stuff about and you see some shadows in the distance but nothing really crazy catching yeah. your eye uh anybody else same sort of vision if you have like a dark vision um, situation. I do not have dark vision, uh, but I did have a quick question. Um, when are we going to, is the Tin Man here? And does the yellow brick road like go straight through this? Or is it kind of like a circling around? <laughs> I have seen this setting before. Listen. I'm just getting prepared. There's listen. There's no there's no copyright infringement happening here that we didn't have to cut out about a wizard or Oz or something. Uh, Johan sort of kind of looks about and he doesn't really see. Like it doesn't really seem like he's like thrown off as much as you guys might be by the scene. He just kind of like looks and seems to be kind of surveying the area and he just is, looks at his really shittily drawn map and he's like, you know. Forgot about the part where the trail sort of disappears. I've got this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, so and he sort of, <laughs> all right. He sort of ruffles the map again. And he folds it up, and he's mm -hmm. like, "I have a quick question before way. we start walking. Um, yeah. Would either Bugnatius or myself have been in this like vicinity before? Do you think? I don't know. You could give me a nature check or a history check. Mm, nine. Yeah, you would have passed through here, maybe trying Not to get. Good get to the underwood but mm -hmm. i don't think you would have like stayed here long yeah like maybe if you wanted to i got a nine as well the the most I, I, the most i'll give you both on a nine is like you know this is an area where some tougher than your average salt people will come to hunt yeah this is where a lot of bigger more stealthy more 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 dangerous prey but more more risk for more reward if you will like like this is where certain things you, you can find rarer plants down here, like for different medicines and culinary applications. Uh, but everybody knows about that. It's just like the lower you go, the better, the better pay you're going to get for what you find, you know, like, yeah, because you live to tail to tail, you know. And uh, I think I think as Johan kind of goes on, he's like, oh, I remember he reaches into his bag and you see he pulls out what looks like regular old salt. And he pours it down over the top of the mushrooms as he's continuing his trail. And you see that they're taking a bit longer of a time to fill in the sort of gaps. It's not like every single spot, but just like a few spots here and there. He, he throws the salt yeah. down and kind of leaves a bit of a trail where the salt is kind of sprinkled. And he kind of passes you guys a handful as you guys are walking along so you guys can kind of keep a trail. And it's like, just in case, you know, just in case we get separated for any reason, follow this trail back to home base by home base i mean the rope to get the fuck out of here you know it's a good home base it's all fun and games until 
a couple displacer beasts run up on you and then poof, they disappear and now they're biting your neck and your face. That is terrifying. It's Quick question, what is a displacer beast? Uh, you've seen cat? Yes. <laughs> Big cat, not good. Instead of tail, tentacles that come out of neck. Uh, instead of cute fur, jet black skin, a, a, a purple blood. I have seen this. Have not killed one personally. Have seen their blood though. Purple blood, Maybe uh, purple get eyes. Chance, Honestly, uh, you did not have to tell me anything more than cat. Yeah, Matt did just roll a fifteen. No, I, I, I'm aware of that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you guys continue on for now, and uh, I'm gonna need some new stealth checks oh, from you guys now that we've made it to this lower level. I just thought maybe something would happen. That 15, by the way, was just for you guys getting through that upper part to this yeah. oh, lower floor. Y'all still are going to have to roll a new one. And a 15, Ooh, nothing's going to happen on a 15. Damn, 16. I got a 10. Okay. I got a 21. Ooh, okay. I was rolling too good last mm -hmm. time. It's done. Punish you. Oh, boy. So give 10, me that other 20, 10. somebody, since Matt did it. Jeremy, why don't you give me that 20? All right. A two. Because you aren't being very stealthy. Oh, two. A two, did you say? Uh -huh. Oh, God. It's a two. You did. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're fine. Nothing's wrong. I don't need to Speaking check of displacer right beasts. Uh, so you guys are continuing on. I think Johan also got swept up in the conversation of everything because mm -hmm. he rolled a two on his stealth check. Not looking good. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, uh, I think sort of uh, as you guys are making your way through Johan, is mentioning a couple of things he's seen out here and uh you start to hear what sounds like what sounds like a battle sort of as you crest over a hill and it's a couple more uh, like like the clearing of those trees starts to thicken up mm -hmm. around this area and uh you can see sort of like a naturally made sort of sweeping path as some of the branches are kind of coming in and sort of like grasping arms in a way like each tree from across this little area is sort of like making sort of like a faux tunnel mm -hmm. and through this tunnel you can hear the sounds of what sounds like scuffling like like a like a like a like a pretty pretty raucous battle happening do, like do, a, a few it, yards does away does it sound like lots of people or? is it are do we hear like yells or do we people, like like at least at least you you can hear what's what what like i guess Give me some any one of you guys give me an arcana check. An arcana check? And uh Oh, someone else do And that. somebody else give me and someone else oh, man. who isn't giving me an arcana check, give me a history check. I'll, I'll, I'll give you history. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's an eleven history. Sixteen arcana. History, yeah, you no, know, that's it wasn't a high history check. You can tell that this is definitely the sound of like a few blades clashing okay. and like the the telltale signs of like a team working together maybe or like a few teams working together gotcha. or something like it's not huge but it's like if two of your parties currently were fat fighting mm -hmm. like like about uh, like about like four or five people okay uh, and and what'd you get for the arcana check? 19 a 19 yeah and you can hear the distinct sound of a uh of what what seems to be some sort of magical weapon going off in like quick succession every now and then and uh johan he kind of can he he's kind of like you can see he's like in sort of like game mode like 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 hearing the, the the sounds of the scuffling as well and he sort of like materializes his mask in his hands and puts it on his in his hand and puts it on his face and he looks back at you guys and it's that same sort of eye with this the crazy sigils going back almost like veins up in his face and he sort of puts a finger up to his face like a shush, shush motion and he just sort of, you guys definitely can tell that whatever's going on over there doesn't give a fuck about what you guys are doing, but he still thinks that we should be stealthy in that, like your stealth yeah. role, even if your stealth role wasn't good, your characters wouldn't know that. So you guys sort of like, probably uh, good. good idea. he's like, I think we should maybe check things out, but stay a distance away in case it is not our business. Agree? Mm -hmm. That sounds, that sounds so good to me. He sort of, he sort of guides you guys in with a hand as you guys uh, make your way through this trail of these trees. And as you're going through, um, you can see some of these trees are more matured than the other trees. They don't look as like, uh, as like shriveled and like almost like young to them as, as you might be able to discern just by the look of those trees that are further out. And uh, these more mature trees, as you're going through, you can see bulbs of like flowers and like flowering sort of bulbs and like 
near the very end of one of the uh one of these trees as you guys are making your way through this tunnel there is a fruit would anybody like to make a nature check i'll do that yeah i'll do Me. that i'll do that as well uh Ooh. 13 23 sorry 14 you made this fruit. This is your okay. tree you planted. Sorry, 23. Yeah. A 23. <laughs> I, I say with a 14, you see a you see a fruit. <laughs> but nice. with a 23, you see what looks to be with your with your like huntery eyes from the distance that you're at. A, a it's almost like a pear-shaped fruit with these sort of like divots and curves that look like I don't know if you've ever seen like those uh those like Aztec mounds that they used to use for like star maps and like tracking like like astrology sort of stuff, where these like these hills uh-huh. that are like built into the ground, but it's into the grooves of these apples that look like it's almost like protrusions from underneath that are making these divots of like interconnecting like triangles just all around it in like a sort of like chain like mm-hmm. pattern that go up to the stem that connects to this sort of like almost like a hand grasping coming down towards cool. the fruit. Like it's like fruit. the hand's trying to pick its own That's fruit. That's a bad fruit. And it's got these interchanging sort of triangular really patterns. Fruit. And it's like sort of this like dull sheened like burgundy color. And it's like a pear shaped fruit. It looks really tasty. Gotcha. And, but it's not something I know just. Yeah, no, can... you, uh, unless you would like spent a lot of time down here, which like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't even say a 23 is like, you know, that much per se. Yeah. Like you just know that this, something about this says it's edible. Mm-hmm. Will there be side effects to this edible thing? Who's Where's the combat noises? They're still ahead, and as okay. you guys are like making your way through, y'all just were seeing this in passing too. Right? Unless you guys are stopping. So to that pick plant the is short of the combat. Yeah, it's like about midway through the tunnel. It's a pretty long, sort of like snaking, almost like almost like a snake's like rib cage, think tunnel as you're going through. And this thing is like just hanging there as you yeah. guys are like about halfway through the entrance. I'm gonna ask Johan. Um, Hey, uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> he sort of looks up. Looks like a fruit. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I, I look over to Eldrick and I say, he's right, you know. Oh, god, I know he's right, but god, that's not <laughs> the question I was asking. I know I know we are being stealthy, but do you want to pick? I can boost you, or I can, like... I, I, I do don't want know... To? What the fuck this is? This looks pretty fucking wild. I mean, me. it's growing from a tree. I, I don't think I should check it for traps, but I could. I mean, let I, I, I please I think check it for it traps. Might be best if we just leave it. Yeah, <laughs> cousin, what do you think? We're, you want fruit? Remember, we're as we head deeper. You want fruit? Well, no. As we head deeper, plants. Well, are yeah, actually, I d- yeah, no, y'all. Listen, I, this does Cort does Cornoth recognize anything about this fruit? It y'all y'all look see like that fruit. the budding the bu- the budding flowers and like buds that you see are like baby fruits. Yeah. Like it's not like a, it's like a weird thing. It's like these trees are in in season right now is what you can assume by huh. that. It's not a huge fruit or like a crazy pulsating fancy fruit. It's just a red, uh, like a dull metallic sort of like sheen to this burgundy fruit with interlocking uh, triangles sort of shaped. Kornoth is going to turn to his cousin and then turn to the group and just, the battle did make me a bit peckish. Uh, this is not poison, yes? Looking at He you picks two. it. Oh my God. <laughs> he picked oh, yeah, it. No. Yeah, as you said that, he picked Christ. it. And he's like looking at it. No spikies. He's, it looks. It, it's got like a downy hair on the fur or the, the, the skin. Tough. I'll, I'll peel. Like a, like I'll a peel. peach. Like yes. a peach. And you peel it, and it's like got the flesh of like a like a cross between like an apple and like a like a cantaloupe. Okay. Uh, he's gonna take it, and he's gonna look. And do, One more check, nature people. This is this is good. I know you don't like me, so you and might not tell me if it was poisoned. Yeah, you, you. I'm not. I'm not gonna check again. I'm just gonna be like, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. cool. And he starts eating. And oh, continues shit. walking with them. It's very, it's a very tart fruit. As you guys continue on, it's very tart, almost like a like a Granny Smith apple with like the texture, like I said, of like a like a melon. And it's uh, you take you just take yeah. a bite. I, I mean, I'm just munching on it as like I'm pe- I'm like peeling yeah. it and like taking bites. Your lips and tongue are incredibly numb. Like numb as in like i'm concerned or like, just like starts going like you just came from a like you just came from a dentist no like you just came from a pink floyd concert no <laughs> how much of it like, have i eaten that before thing. that happens? but it's a good fruit 
No, you, like you took like oh. a, like I'd say just a bite, right? No, I was, I was munching yeah. one of those. That's we all you get. Like I'm not saying I'm not saying you're poisoned yeah. forever or you've been cursed, but this fruit has numbed your lips. But it and tastes tongue. good. But it tastes pretty good. Wait, yeah. If my if my, like sweet, if my tongue is numb, like can I still taste Smith. it? I mean, yeah, you're gonna still just keep a numb mouth for a long time. Is that what you want? If the only downside is it makes my mouth numb, but it's tasty, we're not gonna keep eating it. That's fine. It makes your mouth a little numb. I think but it's pretty tasty. Yeah, that's. For sure. And his lip is just sagging yeah, okay, a little I bit. I assume Cornout to be smart enough to know yeah. that that could be a bad sign, think, but no, you know, it's whatever. Fine. <laughs> I think Johan also takes the little knife and the fruit from me yeah. and cuts a slice and he takes a bite. Hey, it's not the bad. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's not Eldrick bad. and I look at each other like, oh my God. This is not the bad. And, and you two notice immediately as they take a bite, they have a fragrance about them. It's a good fragrance mm. or a bad fragrance? What yeah, no, it's, no, it's a really, really sweet, like oh, nectary. This fruit is so smell. good. This is a good fruit. This is a good decision. They just smell really nice. Um, I, I would like to. I would like to. Um, Do you change your mind? Roll a perception check or something because I think this fragrance has me worried that it's going to attract something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God damn it! I uh, mean, would that be can... would that be perception or? Yeah, you. I mean, I don't know. I don't, what are you trying to discern here? I am you, worried that this I fragrance like, is noticed by the other would you like, find creatures out? around us. Well, that's what I'm saying. How would you find out that it is? I think a survival. I just think yeah, try, uh, maybe try a survival. Yeah. Check. Yeah, give me a survival. I think check. like I'll as a you, hunter, yeah. I would have ways of like like perceiving the mm-hmm. area around. I, I don't me. think I you even have to new, roll. Uh, I don't, I don't even think you need to make a survival check. I'll just tell you, if you two both notice it without a roll, you can probably discern that other things are going to notice it without a roll. That's yeah. all I'm gonna give you. There's no. Well, I get that. You I'm, don't hear I'm stomping to see if you, if something already has. Yeah, no. Not so far. It seems like super quiet. Not in like a you would know this way, yeah. but like it's just quiet around you guys as you guys are continuing. Mm-hmm. Other than gotcha, other gotcha. than the crazy fight happening in front of you, mm-hmm. there's nothing insane happening. You guys just have a yeah. really mm-hmm. really distinct sweet smell to you guys that you probably haven't noticed because you guys are just yeah, enjoying, just some, enjoying fruit. some fruit. Oh my god, just enjoying some fruit. Um, well, here's here's what I want to do then. I I want to run ahead of the group. And try to see if I can see what's happening okay. stealthily. No, that definitely works. Before the smell hits the people fighting or whatever's happening ahead of us. It's blowing down wind. Does, does that make sense? It was blowing down wind. So if you guys are like behind, yeah, us? if you guys were behind Kornoth and him while they were eating this fruit, oh, that's how you're smelling. You know what I mean? Like, there's no like. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I, I'm not to get that granular, but the wind isn't blowing your cover. <laughs> Your cover was probably blown gotcha, by gotcha, the gotcha. two and the and the and the other low yeah. stealth roll. Let's just leave it. At, you you uh-huh. know. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. No, so, that's fine then. As you guys continuing away, but you, I will let you have gone ahead because, like, as you're kind of making your way ahead to yeah. this sort of like clearing, there's a couple of, like dried brush or whatever, and you kind of get behind there, and what you see catches you off guard. Mm-hmm. Uh, All right. You see a scene of a battle between about like four and four people. And like there's like an overturned one of these like bigger sort of large trees as like from the angle that you are at, you get a glimpse of a centaur in plate armor, Mm -hmm. a booglin with a large cowboy hat with a big (laughs) star in the center of it. I love it. And boots with spurs (laughs) crouched behind said tree. As well as two other people clad in armor in the same sort of insignia as the, uh, as the uh, centaur. It is the light of redemption. And by that big ass cowboy hat, you can probably discern also, it's Beetleboo Jack. No, yeah. <laughs> You see, I think as we got he, that. you see, as he sort of quick draws over the uh, his hand over the top of the stump, and a ball of light forms into his hand into a revolver, and he cracks off two shots at the uh, at the other side, which you can now see is a large rock and a sort of like outcropping of sort of like sticks and shrubs that were like hastily thrown together, and you can see poking out uh, a shoulder get rocked by one of those light bullets. Mm. Uh, as a person wearing the same mask as Johan oh, is hit. Dude. Of course. Oh, Johan. Oh. And then you see another one. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. So I ran ahead. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, you yeah you're, at the, you're at the front of the lines. Yes. So I want to run back 
Well, Kyle, you had another thing you were about to say. Say that. Oh, no, I just was going to say that another uh, masked figure as well raises their head and they are... Uh, gotcha. They are a uh, more slender figure, like a lot taller than the figure that got hit in the shoulder. The figure that got hit in gotcha. the shoulder was about the same height as, like, Beetleboo Jack or you. So the centaur is on the side of Beetleboo Jack, presumably, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run back to the other group and uh, kind of just be like, all right. I don't know what to make of this, but it seems like your friends who didn't show up, Johan, are currently in the middle of a fight with Beetleboog Jack and a couple of like the 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 uh are the people of remembrance or redemptions uh police? I don't whatever they call themselves. Ugh. Well, cousin, um... Redeemers and Billy Bug Jack? What? <laughs> First, um... Do not know who Beetle Boy Jack is. Sounds like cool guy. What? It... Um, cousin, how dedicated are you to this whole betrayal thing? Like, are you cool with helping us, like, murder your old acquaintances? Why do we... What, well, maybe if I go out there, I can get them to calm the fuck down. Maybe you guys talk to this big bug Jack... And see if you can maybe make... Oh, do, would that not cause issues with later? <laughs> maybe you can make him... Won't that cause issues? Because aren't we trying to betray your old accomplice? I, I and these are... Well, no, I, I'm not sure how much skin they have in the game. They were my crew before oh, they were this oh, guy's crew. Oh, have, I think okay. this might be... Oh. Maybe maybe they met each other or... I don't know the... the I don't know what's going yes. on, but maybe but we, we can stop this. But we might be able to get them to switch I don't, I don't know what's, I don't know I, what's going on. He kind of taps the, his... Beetleboog Jack does have the light of redemption. I don't know if your, peop, your crew also stole that or if he's using that as a, a, a power I think source he just, right now. I think he just but, shrugs and he's like, look, and he taps his coat pocket. We can't let this out again. Oh, if we yeah. can, oh, yeah, if, yeah, we can uh -huh. if we can not get into any scuffle so this doesn't get broken or lost, that would be great. I will try to talk to my men. You try to talk to them. Maybe we can stop Might this for I a make second. Just Even a for small a brief suggestion moment. in that you do not wear um, the mask. Because then uh -huh. that he right, might right. they might see that as a reinforcements coming in, and then that's just the whole issue. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hey, he said, uh, that's a very good idea. Hey. Let's try to pretend like we're just uh, citizens, civil civilians. Yes. I definitely think the best approach is you should. Got, <laughs> you guys should just let me do the talking. I'm a master negotiator. I will. And he starts walking. Cousin, that feels. Cousin, uh, I'm cousin gonna, your talking mm, will be as good as my talking, and I have to go talk to criminals. Maybe we keep you as like the last let resort. Let the two of us. No? Uh, do uh let me ask you Johan do uh your your men i presume know your face yes well uh perhaps we place like a hood over you i would i think our best he just, case scenario is if we he get has a through sleeveless without anyone Clearly, he has a sleeveless hooded robe, and he just pops his yeah. hood on. <laughs> you guys, I've been taking like interpersonal. I think we would be uh, best off lessons. I've been practicing through. at night, going to bed about like okay, how to well, talk to people. Uh, okay, so let's test okay. that next time. Yes, I, I'm really I like trying. your initiative. Oh, I, oh, yeah, you're doing so good. Might doing, I say? No, here, listen, listen. I, I would tell you the truth. You're doing so good. I fully, but let's let's yes. do that next time. Agreed. 100 percent <laughs> this this is where we find common ground you are so good at what you're doing that we can't have you do it right now no that makes sense you've got to say not to mention my tongue is a little numb still exactly just... the best exactly. Right. You can, yes, yes exactly exactly if we really get into a bind i'll be you the know anchor who man. we're gonna call i'm with it we're gonna call Absolutely. corn off the anchor man they call me all right let's go that is exactly what they call that you. That is the one, the name I have heard before. <laughs> you guys, you guys make your way, and uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, you don't. You don't have to really roll another <laughs> stealth check. At well, we're this not trying point. to sneak I mean, at this point. I, I guess one. Y'all are and y'all aren't. Like y'all are trying to sneak yeah, and we're, not get we're caught trying in the crossfire. To, yeah, we're trying to very much so be like we're civilians. We're as just guys, not trying to. As you yeah. guys are pulling up, you see the. Uh, 
the centaur sort of stand and raise its hand as a sort of like light based banner forms in its hand and this aura spreads out around them in sort of like a 30 foot range and like everybody kind of huddles in around them as they sort of take cover behind the tree as arrows begin to rain down from the other side all right i haven't noticed you guys yet but like you can see they're returning fire uh so what are you guys doing Oof. Johan um, is making his way up the side where the mast and how far away are. are we from them? Y'all are about 20, 25 feet out. All right. Uh, Anybody got a thermometer? There's here? like a kind of lip to the area where they're fighting. So y'all kind of have a little cover, but it's not enough cover to be mm-hmm. like you're hidden. Yeah. All right. Kornoth is going to cast uh, Mold Earth. Uh, to basically raise the earth between the two parties that are like kind of shooting at each other and like just stand okay. up and just, stop the combat. All right, now someone else take over. And he gives that, you guys a thumbs up. <laughs> I think, uh, I, I, I think I, as I, I that just happens, clap. I think both parties take this time to sort of duck down and. Uh, look. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I think they hear uh, you uh, yell "stop!" Though, and you see the centaur and Beetleboo Jack sort of look over in your direction, and there's a look of recognition as Beetleboo Jack kind of like uh-huh. sees you, Bugnacious, and he sort of gives you a tip of the hat. His very large. Luckily, the other the other people on the other side of this wall presumably don't see that tip of the yeah, hat. Yeah, no, right? they don't see that. No, he doesn't have yeah, a no, fucking. I, I, he doesn't have a Doug Demodome hat, but it's a pretty big hat. <laughs> yeah, I I don't I, I step forward and be like, just I'm sorry, just let us pass. we we will let you get right back to killing each other or whatever's going on. We just need to sneak through. I think uh, I think he kind of cocks his head and looks at. It, he's like. What in tarnation are you doing out here, boy? <laughs> we, it's not, no, nobody's business well, but our own. Well, we did own. just interrupt we their combat. Not to play to like the other side way. here, but we did just interrupt their combat. And it is. Ah, yes. Are you the reinforcements that we called for? The centaur says we are in not, a booming voice. We are not. Re- My hands are up. We are not reinforcements for anyone. We just need to get through to the other side. I had no idea this ah. was going on. I'm very sorry to interrupt. You can kill each other as soon as we're on the That's, other side. That is not what we are here for, but they do not wish to give us what we are here for. I definitely feel... As he's saying that, that we yeah, cut That over. sounds tough. Did anyone no, go that with... That sounds tough. We're... <laughs> Did anybody go with Johan? No, I think Kornoff no, was just so. playing... <laughs> Johan just walk, started walking straight Yeah, across. Johan was going into the thing, so he's, yeah. Johan is now... Oh, oh, I, I pictured myself, like, following him and, like... Trying oh. to like lead the charge since I'm That's the fine. one like uh, talking. Whoever's sticking with Beetle Boog Jack and his crew, we're cutting away from that. Boognacious? No, 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 no. Oh, no. gotcha, 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 gotcha. We're cutting away from that scene for a second. So if you were backing up to Johan, you kind of hear the exchange happening as the mass sort of, uh, one of the taller mass figures is like, what the fuck is going on? Where the fuck were you? And like, and Johan's like, at the, at the drop off, I don't. I don't understand what, and, and then you see the smaller one with the sin shoulder pull his mask off, mm-hmm. and it's Boogie. Oh shit! God damn it! It's Boogie, and Boogie sort of like angrily shoves Johan as he kind of makes his way over. He's like, "You were supposed to be fucking helping us. You were supposed to be watching out for everybody, but you're the one who decided to leave early. Why?" Listen, friends this this is this is no concern of me and my party. We are going no. to move on. You, your groups can continue. Who the fuck are you guys? This, and how did you guys stop them from attacking us? This does not no, concern no, it's, us. I, I, I hate to be the, the, the I know I, I'm supposed to be the backup. Oh, no, but this, this is very <laughs> much. Fucking this is very much. I, he is talking directly to, fuck, Tyler, what's your character? I forgot. He's talking. Bugnacious. He's Bugnacious. talking directly Lil, to Lil, Lil Crumb. Crumb. And oh, he's yeah, just Lil like, Crumb. no, no, no. I think like I, that was a good to start with, but um, from my books and things, I have learned, I do think this is our business because one of our party is involved with them. Uh, like it would be, un- it would be no, I, uncomfortable I, I, I hear what you're saying. if I, we just dipped out right now. I think it's at this point, seeing you I all I hear what talking. you're saying, but we would be better off if the the mad scientist henchmen were not more, if more of I the mad scientist henchmen I think it's a good idea to call them mad there scientists whenever we show up to kill them. them. My book said insulting people is bad. Seeing you all talking in front. like this out in the open with the other members, the centaur and beetle boog jack just walk up behind you all. Will you hand over the child? 
Hold on, did you steal a people? The child? Now is it our business? They stole a boy. His name denotes like he's a young lad. I don't know how old this gentleman. Sorry if you are the child. He's like, I'm 20. (laughs) Wait, who are we talking about? Boogie. Oh. (laughs) You guys. You must answer for your crimes, bug child. And he sort of hits his lance into the ground and he's like, I care not for those who wish to protect you. I am merely upholding the law. What a time to be alive. Am I right, am I right fellas? <laughs> this is this is I just want to point out how crazy this is. We've got two we've got two of my own people on either side, me right in the middle. This is pretty crazy. <laughs> right, go Book ahead, Jack, go on. Yeah, Beetle Jack's like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Running with the wrong crowd, stealing stuff from your own home. Causing a ruckus, and I think I Boogie... mean to be fair, Beetle Boog Jack. I don't think that redemption is Boogie's own home. That I, I'm I think not you talking would about... know. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking sides here. I don't <laughs> really clearly I, taking I just sides. Do want to point out that I don't think that I'm not talking about what they set up after. I'm talking about what they set up beforehand. What we did, what our people did. All this because you're mad at some fucking upper, upper, upper dwellers. Coming down here, ground. I believe the term he said he uses is upper crusts. And Boogie's just kind of like, you don't care that they've been turning the place into a fucking shithole. You don't care that they've been making way for technology in place of nature. What are you talking about? Giving a shit about my home? I'm the only one who fucking cares. And he's like, and he just points to this, and you shot me. You don't care. You don't want me to come back at all. This isn't about that. This is about saving face for the boogling. This is about saving face for fucking redemption's sake, huh? Whatever, man. And I think Boogie just kind of like walks off for a second. You see Beetle Boog Jack kind of raise a hand for a second and the Sidtarg kind of grab his shoulder. I understand what thoughts might be going through your head right now, but... Let's not be too hasty here. They've laid down their arms. There's no need for more senseless bloodshed, yeah? And Beetleboog Jack kind of... He's just kind of shocked for a bit, and then he kind of looks at him. And he just walks off as well. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Beetleboog Jack, what, what is happening here? Boy's got to answer for what he's done. He stole that gem. And I know we got a new fan dangled fancy on it and sent us into the dang far flung future, but that ain't the point. As soon as he says the he stole the gem, Kornoth's face like lights up with finally recognition. Oh, you're the I took I did you're the old brot. Oh, I understand what's going on now. Wow, this is yeah. This is very unrelated to what we were doing. It's about a stubborn doing. kid playing eye for an eye. This nothing to do with what we were doing. Wait, what's happening? Um, it's about a stubborn. Uh, I, I'll, 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 t- I'll tell you what's happening. A young kid decided to play eye for an eye with adults' business that he ain't have no reason sticking his head in. I get that he's got good intentions, but this ain't the way. You know the cool shiny rock in in uh, the big uh, redemption, or it has a new name now. It's which names a couple of times. Remembrance, Remembrance whatever, the, yeah. The, the, the town, the main the, the regional town we all came What from. about it? Uh, no, I'm explaining story because you did not leave. He's explaining yes, to yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. So, so uh, little boy oh. went angry, angry boogling, boogie. Uh, yes, I remember him now from the newspapers. Uh, I'm familiar. Yes, the boogie stole the gym and everyone was very upset because it was special gym. And then uh, later, uh, after they cleaned up the the stink hole, which now became elevator, they actually found the gym. But uh, and now it's better now and in the center of town. So I think. Boogie, oh, so Boogie is a hero. No, 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 no. Because Boogie stole. No, I think though, as you say, cleaned up the he, the stink hole. Boogie kind of like turns. He's like, wait a minute. They. They cleaned it up. Oh yes, yes. They actually, you Boogie. I want you to know. Where have you been, Boogie? He's been away. You don't. I've been you, out did here. you just wake up from Boogie's a coma? been in exile because of his crimes against the redemption. <laughs> um, God, it's you guys are lucky. I read newspapers so much. Cleaned up. Um, but so then, um, it, let me to remember. Oh yes, this this cool cowboy guy. This is Boogie's older brother who was tasked with like 
bringing him to justice. Um, very cool, co cool cowboy. I really like the, the revolver. That's very cool. Uh, I have like a gauntlet thing, but it's a different kind of cool. Um, but so like, the, um, I forgot what I was talking about. I apologize. That's about right. I don't know what the hell's going on around these parts, but I'll tell you this. Either he's coming with me or you guys are going to magically make some sort of gem appear to answer for his crimes, which that's up there. So what the fuck am I looking for? And as he says that, can I get a perception check from the three of you? 14. Uh, 12. 5. On a 14, I will say, as he kind of yells, you feel a sort of like, you don't know if it was from him or what, but you feel this sort of tension, like an extra oomph in the air. He's still sort of like fuming over that. He's like, I just, it seems like a fool's errand. Right? You take your brother in for something that is done and over with. Or you take him in for what he's really supposed to be coming in for. It's for thinking he can get away with tampering with shit he doesn't know anything about. I'm torn here. Because am I really seeking justice? Or is it just me trying to shake some sense in that? I don't know. And he takes his large, comically large hat off and wipes his brow. You see like three little antennas. Um, Kornoth <sighs> quietly turns and whispers to Lil Crump. This was not in the book. I do not you know how feel to handle this situation. You can feel that sort of tremulous thudding getting louder or, or sort of more intensified. This is... Does it sound like something moving? Like something like... Give me, give me another perception check. And I think... Uh, Ten. No, that's a seven. I think after here, especially after Is hearing this coming the, from the cleaning him? up of everything and like things... Yeah, uh, I don't think it's coming from... It, it, you. What'd you say you A wrote? ten. A seven. Yeah, no, it's not coming from his origin point. You're just feeling it as this sort of thing is sort of... As the intensity of this situation is sort of swelling. Mm -hmm. Uh I think hearing that things have been cleaned up and kind of getting better, Boogie has not hit you. You know, Boogie hasn't been mm -hmm. back because Boogie's a wanted boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he, uh, he's sort of, you see Boogie kind of like talking with his other crew members after all of this. And like, he seems like they're, they're having kind of their own heart to heart. Johan's kind of off to the side. Cause he seems like he's picking up on what you guys have kind of been picking up on as well. And uh, the 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 centaur kind of pipes up. Uh, Stan Silvard, by the way, and he holds a hand out to each of you and kind of greets him. And he's like, uh, "Listen, things. I don't think things will be resolved overnight. We should maybe set up camp. If things have cooled down, no one leaves this space until we resolve this. But." There does not need to be more violence if there is not need for it. Why, why, why do you need us to stick around for whatever's not, going no, on? No, we, no, no. Have... I mean, the people we are in discussion with, you aren't necessarily a part of that. You're free to do whatever okay. it is you're doing. I just, I feel like it would be beneficial to have sort of a non... You know, have a sleep Attached to this party... You're gonna have as a like an observer, heart. like a jury, an impartial jury. You kind of got walked in on yeah, this whole exchange. We, we did kind of you know, turn the battle into conversation, and, uh, so we're pretty good mitigators, apparently. I don't know if I would describe myself as necessarily impartial, but sure. Give me one last perception check. Ooh, 11. Dirty 20. Let's see. I'll do one for Johan, too, since he kind of also picked up on it. Oh, dirty God, 20, you said? A two. Dirty 20. <laughs> You remember, you remember the smell. Ugh. It's a uh -huh. delicious smell oh, from the fruit. God. Yeah. Uh, and you remember how you were like, "There's no way." It's such an expansive area, you know. You can kind of see pretty far. There's no way something, something would pick up on that and be like, especially coming towards the battle. I do remember or saying. I, I think as you're like that. as you are peering around, something in you says to look up. 
Okay. And above you, hanging from the ceiling, you see what looks like, at first glance, a vine, maybe? But it's awful. That's awful big for a vine. And you see that it isn't a vine, but it is the neck and head of a creature sniffing the air uh, right above you all. And as it continues upward, you can see the body of what can only be described as a gigantic leech. No one else has noticed. Or perhaps a okay. dragon. No one else has noticed. You are the only I, one who has yeah, I super did notice. Awesome. I rolled it too. Okay, before before I say something, does anything about it look familiar? You can see in its neck that same glowing yellow sort of like orb from the story that Kornoth was telling. Uh-huh. You. I know he didn't tell you the full story, but yeah, quite literally the thing that has been stalking Boogie this whole time. Yeah. Is now sniffing right over Kornoth. Um, I will uh, immediately. I, I I guess I won't say anything. I just will immediately move towards Kornoth and try to assist him in, like, like get out of the way, get out of the way. You know okay. what I mean? Like, like Kornoth, give me a dexterity save with advantage. And Bugnatius, I'm gonna need you to give me one, just a straight one. Yeah. Mm. An eleven. Uh, he ain't very dexterous. Uh, nineteen. Bugnacious, you are able to dodge this, but as you push Kornoth, you got an eleven with advantage. That sucks. <laughs> oh, God. As you push Kornoth, you stumble out of the way. Luckily enough that your head isn't caught by this, but the back of your sort of like billowing robes gets caught as this thing latches onto your clothes and lifts you off the ground. Oh God, damn! Lifts Kornoth off the ground. Lifts me or no? Kornoth? Lifts Kornoth. You dodged it with okay. a nineteen, yes. but in wow. your push, you like pushed and jumped back. Just just in time as it snatches his clothes and not him for damage. And you are picked up and sort of like held aloft by this long neck as it peels from the ceiling and lands in the center here, crushing the mold earth that you just created. That was like a wall between the two of you. And you see a large Draco leech. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Holding Kornoth aloft in its teeth. And I need everybody to roll initiative. Looks like the big leech thing from the world building episodes is back. If you didn't listen to those, you should go back and do so. But you'll still know what's going on next week if you don't. Is it just me or is Beetle Boot Jack looking really good these days? He could arrest little old me any day.